In the bottom right corner, you'll find your monitor section. This is where the output levels of the monitor outputs and all of the line outputs are configured. At the top of the monitor section, you'll see the monitor control enable buttons. Each monitor control enable button represents an analog output. When blue, the output is affected by the monitor controls. When red, the output is muted and not affected by the monitor controls. When gray, the output is not affected by the monitor controls and is passed on at its full level. To set a button to gray, hold shift and click. When setting a monitor button to gray, be cautious. The volume will be at its fullest, so be sure to turn down the volume on whichever device is receiving the signal before bypassing the monitor controls. Underneath the monitor control enable buttons, you'll find presets for the monitor configurations. Each one is pretty self-explanatory. You can either use them or set up your own configurations. Below the monitor control enable buttons are the monitor controls. The big knob is your level attenuator. When the hardware control box is blue, the attenuator is controlled by the monitor volume knob on the front of your interface. When the box is gray, the attenuator is controlled from within mix control via your mouse. The dim button attenuates the output level of the selected blue outputs by 20 decibels. The mute button mutes the selected blue outputs. You can also mute each side of your stereo field individually via the left and right mute buttons. The mono button sums or combines the left and right signals to mono and sends that out both the left and right outputs. Remember that the monitor controls only affect the outputs tied to the blue monitor control enable buttons.